inside an artificial horizon or attitude indicator uh, the gyroscope uh, rigidity in space here is the rotor of the artificial horizon this is a vacuum instrument you can see the little notches there that uh, catch the air and drive the, this rotor at high high speed, high RPM and here's a reminder uh, of a simple gyroscope so if I spin this we see the rigidity in space and what we have with the with this rotor is the same is the same thing uh, I can support it here and it spins like that it spins at high speed and it fits into the instrument in that chamber like this uh, I'll put it in in a moment but uh, let's look at the air supply there's the the back of the instrument um, and that's the air inlet uh, from the filter uh, that's the suction line uh, from the engine the vacuum pump and that's the gauge attachment for the vacuum gauge so the air goes in there and uh, through this bearing and up this side of the gimbal structure and there we see the copper colored air inlet into the chamber so a jet of air comes out from there and drives the uh, rotor around around a bit like a water wheel You see little, little marks uh, there, little uh, um, pieces drilled away for balancing, I think. So that goes in there. And I will assemble it. So what I've done now is I've in, uh, fitted the, the, the rotor, the, the brass uh, gyro rotor there it's fitted into its chamber uh, this is the way it came apart uh, with these little nuts here and now we have this piece and this is a this 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 divides the chamber into four in a clever way so that the air comes out of one of these four slots there's a little slot there and similarly there there and there and that's that's uh, how the gyro balances itself in 1g or, or 1g flight or on the ground when it's first spun up uh, so this fits on uh, like that so that it it divides the space between the slots so I'll just put that together so now I've assembled the the rotor into its chamber into its case there uh, with the single nut there and I've reassembled these little copper strips copper pendulum strips you might call them um, and these open and close little air slots for the air exhaust and th this is how the gyro stabilizes itself uh, after start up the, 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 the gyro the rotor will stay vertical throughout and then the aircraft will move around the gyro so if, as the aircraft moves around the gyro we see that uh, the display at the front here will move up and down um, 
and it's moved by a little a little pin attached to the to the chamber to the gyro chamber and that little pin moves in a in a slot here and moves the display up and down in pitch and this is is uh, made airtight by the use of a uh, an o-ring that fits in this slot here here's the o-ring so I'll I'll assemble I'll assemble that and then there's three screws that fit uh, radially and hold the assembly into the case so what I've got here is a simple wire frame that is attached to the case uh, to, to simulate or represent the aircraft reference uh, bar pitch pitch reference, the little miniature aeroplane on the case is represented by this and this is the roll reference the, uh, that's also attached to the case so it's, I'm just simulating those, those two components and I've also got a piece of string which simulates uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm simulating a, uh, uh, a gyro that is spinning and that is holding position uh, rigid in space and, uh, and now I'm going to illustrate what happens in the pitch axis when I pitch the I pitch the gyro case uh, around uh, a fixed gyro position so I keep the string I keep the string uh, I keep the string the same, I keep the gyro fixed in space and I pitch the aircraft nose nose up. I pitch the aircraft nose up. What really happens is that the um, pitch the aircraft nose up. So through the linkages the the blue and black horizon bar is actually moving down. To display a nose up pitch attitude. I pitch the aircraft nose down without moving the string. I'm just rotating the instrument around the string. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. Uh, so pitch nose down and the the instrument the instrument moves the horizon line up. Uh, indicating a descent. And in roll, if I roll the case, the gyro stays fixed. I roll the case that uh, indicates a left wing down condition. And that indicates right wing down. And the gyro doesn't move, the case moves around the gyro. Let's have a look at how these pendulous veins work. So at the bottom here, we've got these copper strips, and they're called pendulous veins, and they work with these exhaust slots, and they work to uh, to align the the gyro with with gravity. Uh, we want we want the gyro to be spinning uh, with this with the top up, pointing away from the center of the earth. So the whole assembly is is well balanced, so that it uh, it it does not is not susceptible to g as a whole. So when when uh, you first start the aircraft and the vacuum pump starts, the gyro might be in this orientation, um, and and here we see that uh, here we see which way around the gyro is going. The gyro is spinning a very high RPM in that direction inside this this case, and so if it starts up like this, like that, then uh, here we've got uh, a slot, an exhaust slot exposed, um, and that should that would be the only one that is exposed. On the other side, the pendulous vein will be closing this slot on the other side. So here we've got the 
the slot exposed so air is squirting out of here generating a little thrust there's an equal and opposite thrust onto the case uh, but that thrust is applied 90 degrees later because of precession so it's applied uh, 90 degrees around this way and so the force acts like this to to um, close that slot to move the um, the gyro chamber and and the pendulous vein will then close that slot so that's how that works uh, and here we have the completely assembled instrument the artificial horizon or attitude indicator that's the air inlet with a filter inside and the air outlet to the vacuum pump and a fitting for the gauge for the vacuum gauge inside an artificial horizon